Hey guys, so um, a few days ago I wanted to learn SFML to get back into C++ um, so I looked up some cool things to do with SFML or like some cool algorithms and I found Conway's Life which I hadn't implemented before. It's a cellular automaton algor algorithm, um, sounds harder than it actually is. So um, before starting this video I only quickly did the setup of SF SFML checked how I opened the window and keyboard and mouse input. That was the only things that I looked up beforehand. So it took me about an hour and 44 minutes to implement. Um, but yeah, it's worked. It's not the neatest code, but it works. So Conway's life rules. Um, it's an easy grid-based system, which has four rules that apply to each cell. cell. So you check the neighbors of a cell if it has three neighbors, it stays alive. If there are less than three, uh, it's under population, so the cell dies. If there are more than three uh, neighbors, the cell dies because of overpopulation. And if an empty tile or an empty cell has three neighbors, um, the cell becomes alive. So that's about it for the rules, pretty easy. So I started by creating a sort of grid system using a 2D array of booleans. Um, I had to figure out how to draw the squares in the correct positions with a correct size so it wasn't too small. Um, and for the 2D array, if the, if the boolean is false, the cell is dead, and if it's true, the cell is alive. So uh, after I got the whole 2D array and drawing thing working, I figured out how to make a find neighbors function, which checked the surrounding cells and checked how many were alive and then returned an integer with uh, the count. And then, since I had the uh, amount of neighbors of the cell, uh, just really quickly implementing an if statement to check what the cell should do. And that's about it, it's a pretty easy algorithm, but it looks, looks real cool. You can make some cool figures like a paraglider and stuff with it. Um, you should look it up on Wikipedia, I'll leave a link down in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.